Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News. This is Bernardo and this is episode 133. So today's episode guys uh, is pretty cool. Um, I'm all about backup. You know, backup is one of those major things that you have to do for all your things. You know, you back up your documents, you back up your music, you back up, uh, you back up your backup. And uh, I found this cool utility called the GM Vault. It backs up your Gmail backup. You know, it uh, backups all your Gmails. And you probably say, what's the point of this? Hey, you never know when Google servers go down. You know, <laughs> and you have all those important information, and you 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 have you don't you don't know how to get it. You know, um, one good example that I could give you guys is at my job we actually use Google Business Apps, and uh, when someone leaves the company, I normally have to back up their Gmail. Uh, what I used to do is I used to configure Outlook with Gmail and you know create a PST file and you know have that but I found that GM vault was really simple okay so if you go into the learn more it actually shows you a breakdown of how I install it um, it's real easy uh, I will give I will shoot you know I'll actually give you guys all the links on the description um, on this video so you guys can actually check it out uh, from my understanding uh, there's many versions right now they're in beta 1.7 uh, I'm actually testing out 1.6 and uh, they have uh, Windows 7 Vista XP they even have a Mac OS Python source which is pretty cool if you guys are into that but uh, the first thing that you need to do to get this up and running install it like for me I actually installed it on the G drive um, my E drive not in my C drive my E drive and uh, you gotta go inside your Gmail settings and make sure that enable IMAP is uh, checked off I think by default this is enabled so you guys don't have to worry about that much and uh, within labels like I have a lot of labels make sure that all the labels that you want backed up is checked off as show in IMAP okay so once you got all that stuff up and running it is time to launch this up and uh, when you launch it up it brings up this nice little command prompt and uh, it's real simple to do it and I'm actually gonna do the first command to start backing up and it's actually GM vault sync and you're gonna put your email address your gmail address now you gotta make sure that when you're doing this command that you're already logged in into your Gmail account and don't close the browser because most likely if you close the browser it's gonna log you out from your Gmail account got it cool so what you're gonna do is hit enter uh, you read in the information right here it's gonna want you to press enter again and when you press enter again it's gonna launch uh, the browser up again and it's basically gonna say hey can you authorize this application to back up your Gmail account on your computer uh, I'm gonna go grant access to it and it's basically gonna say uh, you have successfully granted uh, G G GM vaults back up your uh, Gmail account access to your Google account blah 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 you can always go to my account and revoke the access and once you do that you go back here you hit enter now it's gonna try to connect to the Gmail server as you can see and it looks like it's backing everything up which is pretty awesome and from my understanding if you go to users BJ Tech News and G Vault DB it actually creates a, a DB right here there it goes this is the DB again the utility creates a database for the utility to read from and work from so most likely I'm gonna show you guys uh, this is gonna take a while because I have a lot of emails <laughs> so uh, I believe on the next episode uh, I'm probably gonna show you guys how to update and restore your backup and uh, I'm probably going to show you how to create a schedule backup so basically you can have 
a schedule backup. You don't have to run this manually, and uh, you can just let the schedule tasks run automatically for you. And you can have a backup every day, or you can have a backup weekly or monthly. It's up to you. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this episode. And uh, again, check out the description for the links and check out the app. And let me know what you guys think. Peace out.